<laughs> so much Russian. But it's Lady Gaga. But still, okay, I'm gonna like that anyway. I'm absolutely sure that almost everybody who has a social network account has somehow heard about the rumors connected to the triangle Irina Sheik, Bradley Cooper and Lady Gaga. And today I'd like to give you some ideas on how to use celebrities for your lesson. A good way to start is to compare these different celebrities. By the way, it can be really helpful for students that are going to pass the exams. You can practice degrees of comparison and vocabulary about appearance. Lady Gaga is taller than uh, Michael Jordan. Does your student have any difficulties with understanding the present perfect and the past simple tenses? Try celebrities' biographies to make these rules clear. Give your students the biography to read and use the guided discovery method. The link is down below to talk about grammar. Admit it. You better give your student a reading task or video as a homework than spend time of the lesson on it. And it's a really good idea if you use a flipped classroom approach. This is a really good idea. Ask your student to read an article or watch a video about recent events given some comments on vocabulary and grammar that they haven't known by online instruction. In the lesson, discuss it by asking the questions about the given material. We're absolutely sure that you will explore new gossip as well. To learn more about this approach, you can uh, hear. Have you ever thought that one of the best ways to motivate your students is to discuss gossip? Suggest them a follow a celebrity's profile on Instagram, push them to watch the streams, encourage to comment on the Facebook posts. In other words, let them try their English in real life. But do not read the comments under Lady Gaga's posts. They're all in Russian. Do you want to know the truth firsthand? Organize the interview with a celebrity. Let your students be a journalist. I'm a journalist, he's a journalist. It'll help to revise the question structure and use the vocabulary connected to the topic. Don't forget that you can switch the roles or create a story completely different from the real one. Follow the news and stay trendy to motivate your students and have remarkable lessons. Your students already know a lot of celebrities, they even follow them on social media. So use that in your lessons, it's a good way to connect the real world and English, which, which are connected, but your students don't might not even know that. But if you don't have any students right now or you wish to have more students, join our team of Skying teachers. Teach from any part of the world and choose the time comfortable for you. That is it for today. Thank you very much for watching. Goodbye, ladies and gentlemen.